Hello everyone, I am Prajal Agarwal and today we are going to see this problem minimizing the dot product. This problem is rated as easy on code chef and you might require some basics of sorting to solve this. So guys, if you haven't read the problem yet, go back and read it, try it out and then come back and watch the solution. With this, let's begin. In this problem, we are given two n-dimensional vectors a and b. So we are given a as a1, a2 up till an and b as b1, b2 up till b of n. We are allowed to shuffle the elements of a and b however we want. We can put them in any order. Our goal is to minimize the dot product of a and b. The dot product of a and b is defined as a1 b1 plus a2 b2 up till n. We have to output this minimum dot product. The constraints of the problem are we are given test case cases from 1 to 1000, n can range from 1 to 8 and the range of the elements can range from minus 1000 to 1000. Now let's move on to the test cases. In the first test we are given a as 1, 3 and minus 5 and we are given b as minus 2, 4 and 1. So now from observation we can see that multiplying minus 5 with minus 2 doesn't make sense because it will add to the plus sign. Hence to get the maximum negative we can multiply minus 5 with 4 and 3 with minus 2. So we can arrange b as 1, minus 2 and 4. Now we calculate a dot b as 1 into 1 plus 3 into minus 2 plus minus 5 into 4. This is equal to minus 25 as given in the output. So guys, now try to do the same thing for the second test case yourself. Now in the problem, we are given two arrays a, a1, a2 till an and b, b1, b2 till bn. So now for the solution, let's sort a and b. We get sorted a as a, a1 less than equal to a2 up till n and similarly we get sorted b as b1 less than equal to b2 up till n. So now the solution is that it is of always optimal to choose b1 for an, b2 for an minus 1, similarly bn for a1. Basically our minimum dot product d is equal to an b1 plus a n minus 1 b2 plus dot 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 a1 b n. This is true because when we take a n we want to minimize its contribution to the sum. To co minimize the contribution we multiply it with the smallest possible value which is b of 1. For a more formal proof let us consider a sequence s1 as a n b1 plus a n minus 1 b2 up till a1 bn. Basically this is the minimum dot product. Now we consider a sequence S2 as we exchange any b1 with any other element. So let's say we exchange b1 with b2. We will get a n b2 plus a n minus 1 b1 plus dot 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 a1 bn. Now to compare both the sequences let us subtract. We calculate S1 minus S2. So as we can see that all these elements over here are equal. Hence they will get cancelled. Finally we will get An B1 plus An minus 1 B2 minus An B2 minus An minus 1 B1. Now from this and this we can take An common. And from this and this we can take an minus 1 common. So we will get an b1 minus b2 minus an minus 1 b1 minus b2. So this is equal to an minus an minus 1 b1 minus b2. So an is greater than an minus 1 hence this is positive 
b1 is less than b2 hence this is negative so overall it is negative this implies that s1 is less than s2 so we can use this result for the further shuffles also this means that no matter how many shuffles we perform to get the required configuration of b s1 will always be minimum hence our answer is always a n b1 plus a n minus 1 b2 up till a1 b n so the time complexity of this solution is order of n log n why because we need to sort a and b accordingly the space complexity is order of n because we require order of n space to store arrays a and b so moving on to the code so first we create two vectors to store the vectors a and b now we take the input then we sort a in ascending order and we sort b in descending order now we calculate dot product as ai star bi and we finally print the output so guys this is pretty much the whole code try to code it yourself and if you face any issue then come back and see it again so guys i hope you understood the problem well and if you have any questions drop a comment below and like the video and don't forget to subscribe to get the latest updates from code chef thank you and goodbye